What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Gmaya's World. And right now we're going to be talking about how you can become a mutt millionaire in Madden 24 Ultimate Team super fast. Nice little glitchy method that's coming out. It's going to be a very, very easy and simplistic way to kind of understand, you know, what's going on within the game without having to purchase packs. Now remember, I do have a lot of no money spent guys. I also have guys that spend a lot of money. So we're going to do a little bit of a variation between to kind of give you guys the right insight for both ways. Even the guys that like are some money spent, you'll get something out of the video the number one thing that I want you guys to understand right when you take a look at what's going on in the marketplace there are a lot of ways to possibly get good stuff one of them being um, the one cent daily offers right so it rotates and what they try to do is they give you a version of um, something like you know very cheap you know they give you like this weekly platinum pack they give you this one for 100 points what I try to focus in on are these daily uh, platinum things or whatever they give you for the one the one cent because what happens is, if for whatever reason, right, these are going to be low-level cards. We know that, right? We already know that they're going to be low-level cards. But it's not about that. It's about understanding that some of, the, some of the time, as long as it's not a B and D, you're good. A lot of the higher-level cards they give you is B and D, so you can't really do anything with it other than quick sell it for very minimal training. But in certain cases, that gold can be an elite. And I've seen it pulled. I've seen it posted on X. So there are, you know, certain situations where you can make out. I would definitely recommend that every single day you buy this daily fresh, you know, refresh offer for 500 coins. 100% recommend it because a lot of people, again, it's not as often as it is as it was. I want I meant to say back in the day where we would just roll goals and pull limiteds. EA has definitely nerfed that, but that is very, very important. Okay, as far as just like trying to use the little coins that you have to make more coins. The next thing are the special offers for my players that spend money, right? These are probably the most suitable to get with the money that you're willing to spend. And, you know, with the exception of this 94 overall, which will come in handy probably later when they up the sets to any 94. Th this is not really that, you know, that good of stuff, except for this uh, 86 overall Platinum Fantasy Pack. They're not really that good. All right. But because they're special offers, you are going to get suitable uh, return for your money because you're not spending the full price for what's in the game. So this is you know, specifically for my some money spent and my all money spent guys. It is very, very important that you take a look at this and kind of evaluate what you want instead of just outright buying you know, the real, real expensive offers. It gets really, really nasty with it. All right. So the, I just wanted to point that out really, really quickly. Obviously, with certain things like uh, the training rerolls, people have been pulling a lot of limiteds uh, out of the, uh, the Genki Force rerolls. That's cool. But I don't recommend uh, really playing around with EA Sports as far as training goes. All right. So that, I just wanted to make sure I pointed that out. OK, so that's pretty much letting you guys know what I think about, you know, my all money spent players and what you guys should be doing. Some money spent. Now we're going to focus in on the no money spent players. OK. When you take a look at what's going on with all the challenges, number one, you guys should have already had two legends made, okay? Let me know if you guys have done that. Your weekly card, weekly wild card should be up to date. The Genki Force should be up to date. You should be waiting for everything else. Your Super Bowl challenges should be done because you get a lot of 92 B and Ds that you can then utilize in your team to get rid of other cards that you may not need. Uh, the 92s is backups and stuff like that. You should be up to date with your AKA crews because eventually you're going to get a free card from that as well. These are just some of the things that I want to make sure you guys know. Also, the team of the week. If you're not done and you don't have all of your team of the year uh, collectibles, you're going to be very, very upset very soon because the voting is going on now. Now and it's live and they're going to be dropping the cards and you're going to be eligible for a free card right off the rip if you have all of these collectibles so make sure that all of these challenges are done no money spent players you got to grind the game okay most of these things I do while I'm live on stream so the challenges are not difficult they're very very easy to do but when you go back and have to do it later it can cause problems the next thing is this grinding the house rules you can see we have 1020 stars we're going to get a free 96 overall Genki player, which are going for about 600 to 700 K. Yes, it's very, very involved. And you know, it's a lot of games that you have to play. But once you start to accumulate the stars from the field pass and from playing house rules, you're going to be able to get a lot of uh, stars from it. But like I said, they don't really give you a lot in the field pass, very, very minimal, but you're going to need like 1600 or something like that. You can see that we're already at a thousand. Once you get those together, Many of you guys that are watching this video, you're going to get that, um, where is it? We got to go to the uh, star offers, 1875, I thought it was 16, they must have upped it, 
that 96 overall fantasy champion, we're gonna wait until next week when they drop the next one and be ready to go. So we have another couple days to put together that 1800, and then that's gonna be a way that a lot of you guys are gonna make 700, you know, 700, 600K, depending on what happens with the drop and who the players actually are. But this is a situation where all of you guys can do it, because it's house rules and it's very, very quick games. So if you just take your time, you know, play a few games every day leading up to the next drop, that's gonna be like straight coins straight coins for you now i wouldn't recommend like you know you could buy this too these are ways to make coins the 93s and stuff like that as long as it doesn't say b and d and you can auction it you're good to go now this right here will save for later the re-rolls because the 89 plus is going to be a very very lucrative way to make coins as well using the stars absolutely but right now we're kind of focused in on that to guarantee that everything after that we'll be good to go. But that's 100% just looking at the field pass, grinding through that, and playing house rules. A lot of you guys that take these notes are going to make millions of coins, guaranteed. Okay, like guaranteed. I'm not even really worried about it because I've already seen the sales and the cards themselves with all the elevation and all that stuff that goes on with it, people are gonna be you know, drinking the EA Kool-Aid and that's what's gonna be happening. So I'm just letting you guys know that that is something that's eligible to do uh, throughout your time right now as you're trying to grind to get to that mutt millionaire status. Now, this is very important, okay? By the time you watch this video, the 93 overalls are gonna be very, very highly sought after, which means they're gonna be averaging prices of at least 120 to 130, okay? What you need to do right now is start making as many 93s as you possibly can. Now, I've already showed you guys the number one ways to make the 90s is to use the set for the uh, most feared. Um, Using the most feared set, getting the 90 is very, very simplistic and easy. You need 87s to 88s. You know, one, two, three, bro. One, two, three, guys, you're making these things with the most feared. You're only using the 90 overall most feared championship pack, not the Arcana, because the Arcana set requires two specific most feared players. So you're not gonna use that one. You're only using the most feared regular champions because it takes 87 to 88s. Making the 87 to 88s extremely easy. You either use the headliner program or you use the division dynasty to do that at the end of the day though if you just want to make the cards very very easily the program that i would highly recommend especially for my newer users would be inside of the core uh set right here but you got to remember it uses less cards but it is a gamble for instance this right here what is the chance if I use all these, I could use these four right here, or I can just use five and guarantee me a 93. Why would I take the risk? It doesn't make any sense to take the risk, so I would use the new set to make the 93s for the honors. Because if I do this and I don't get a 93, it really hurts me because the 92s are not going to be as valuable, right? The 92s themselves are not going to be as valuable right now because I don't, I don't really care about making Super Bowl players. I want the newer players that are coming, like the Ultimate Legends and stuff like that. So I'm focused primarily on 93s. So your goal right now is to utilize the proper set to make it and to build up 87 to 88s to make 90s and then use those 90s to make the 93s by using the new set that's available right now. Now remember, when they drop the other set, which they'll be dropping a little bit later, uh, for the out of position ultimate legends I believe they're gonna be dropping a set for that that's also gonna be another way for you to make 93s but right now the hottest cards to make the most overall um, money in the game will be 93s so you work your way up to that utilizing the sets I just showed you and you're gonna be good to go as they drop it week to week this week I would not recommend going crazy about ultimate legends because all of the cards pretty much suck but if you accumulate them and hold them, you'll notice that the price will rise steadily and you'll be able to complete the right set and make a lot of mutt coins. As always, if you have any other additional questions or comments, go ahead and drop it in. If you are a member of the channel, it will be answered by myself or, or my team. If you are watching the video and you are not a member yet, you can click the link in the description, become a G Myers World member, and get those benefits of getting your questions answered one-on-one -on -one specific to your team. Otherwise, the community is very, very good. Drop your question out there and start to, you know, mingle with the dudes and figure out how exactly you can get your team better as you look forward to my streams and being able to see it live. All right, guys, so check it out. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. You enjoy your day. Stay well, stay blessed. Until next time, one love, y'all.